Hello everyone, thank you for turning on the blue lights. Now, IABAP lifestyle closes down due to alleged threats from a gang leader. In a statement addressed to police, to Cyril Ramaphosa, as well as the political leaders, the owners of the establishment detailed failed attempt to seek intervention from authorities following alleged threats by suspected underworld boss and gang leader. Now, ladies and gentlemen, in an open statement, IAPA Lifestyle Cape Town claims that it has been threatened by Ralph Steinfeld, an alleged leader of a 28 gang. According to the statement issued by IAPA on Wednesday, Steinfeld is trying to illegally gain a stake in the IAPA Lifestyle and take full ownership of the establishment. It is widely known that this man is fearless and the whole city is terrified of him and consequently are scared to come out to the public and expose how their lives have been threatened or businesses have been exhorted, IABAP adds in the statement. Now, the statement also reveals that even though the establishment has opened a case and obtained a high court order restraining Stanfield from coming near it, it has consequently, through his wife Nicole Johnson, and all his gangster employees managed to always put a threat on the business and those associated with it. We are exposing here a man that to all appearances seem to be above the law and a true maniac to society. Unfortunately, the culture of reporting and exposing matters of crime in South Africa has little or fruitless results. Business people and society are afraid to report their experiences to the police. Now the statement continued to say, as this is our final attempt to getting assistance from the government, we hope that this attempt will assist us to resolve not only our predicament, but the predicaments of other business people. Now, the police spokesperson, Andrew Todd, said that the criminal case referred to was under investigations and arrests were yet to be made. Now, ladies and gentlemen, IAPAP Lifestyle was founded in 2016 by Kahiso Sitete as well as his business partner, Oba Sifuka, better known as DJ Somebody, who was married last year. Now, now speaking of Kahiso Sitete, according to an article released by Sunday World in May this year, just a few months after the passing of DJ Somebody, Sitete allegedly unleashed cops on DJ Somebody's mother, who was forcefully removed from a YPP nightclub in Pretoria mainland. Now, Sunday World also reports that despite Maputo violence, Sifuka being the executrice of the singer's estate, she has been barred from entering a YPP premises without permission. However, this comes after DJ Somebody's mother unlawfully instructed instructed employees to hand over Speedpoint bank card terminals and other equipment from the nightclub, according to Sitete's lawyers. Now, in May this year, again, Sunday World reported that DJ Somebody's brother, Koketo Sifuka, revealed that he was living in fear after receiving threats from the IABF co-owner, Sitete. Now, according to DJ Somebody's brother, who is Koketo, this all started after he asked Sitete to share more information about the business with his mother since she was the appointed and the executrix of the estate and wanted to buy him out. DJ Somebody's family also has it that Sitete claims to be the sole owner of the joint. However, Sitete has since rubbished the news and made it known that he only owns 50% of the joint. Now, he also pulled a shocker when he revealed that he had relocated to Dubai for his family's safety as he fears for his life. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it means all of this is happening while Sitete is in Dubai and he only owns 50% of the nightclub, while Sifuka's mother, who is Violet, is owning also 50%, but she is still in South Africa. Who is going to protect her then if the owners of Ayib Ape needs some protection? I am just asking out of concern. Ladies and gentlemen, based on how DJ Somebody's life was taken, we don't know what to expect. Expect. Do leave your comment letting me know what you think of this. Otherwise, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and thank you for listening.